carry on the legacy of virtue that my father left me. Guan Yu, god of war, fell at my castle. As promised, Sun Quan receives a large portion of Jing province for cooperating with Cao Cao. However, the cost of breaking the alliance with Shu and killing Liu Bei's sworn brother would not be small. With the alliance gone, the united stance against Wei fell apart. Elsewhere, Having witnessed the changes he had planned, Cao Cao quietly drew his last breath. He entrusted the future to his son, Cao Pi. The world of the Three Kingdoms was about to enter a new phase. Zhuge Liang. What should I do now? I fear that I am but a poor replacement for my father. Do you really think that I have what it takes to rule in his stead? Liu Chan. He was the son of the virtuous Liu Bei. His childhood name was Adu. His father set out to invade Wu in order to avenge the deaths of his sworn brothers, Guan Yu and Zhang Fei. However, he was defeated at Yiling and later died of illness at Beidi Castle. Liu Chan then succeeded his father and became the Emperor of Shu. Lord Liu Chan, you are the inheritor of Master Liu Bei's spirit of virtue and benevolence. I have faith that you will do splendidly. I see. You all have such high hopes for me. Do not put too much pressure on yourself. You must simply do what you think is right, my lord. It will be my task to provide support whenever you need Yes, I am sure I will need your help, Zhuge Liang. It is our task to rebuild this land so that we may realize the grand ambition of our fallen leader, Master Liu Bei. Master Liu Bei went to battle for the sake of his sworn brothers, Master Guan Yu and Master Zhang Fei. But we must only do battle for the sake of bringing about a land of benevolence. It is my opinion that we should refrain from waging war with Wu from now on. You wish to repair relations with the people of Wu? So we are to return to your philosophy of the division of the Land in Three? Yes, Wei is the enemy of both Shu and Wu. But it will be difficult to return to the tripartite division of before. Jin province has fallen to the hands of Wei and Wu. We are in a much more disadvantageous position than we were previously. Since we had less land than the other kingdoms, Jing province was always our trump card. Now that we've lost that, how are we to stand against the other two? That much is clear. We need strength. To make up for the loss of Jin province, we need to acquire more strength at once. For that reason, I propose a northern campaign to seize some of the territory of Wei. Very well. We shall do as Zhuge Liang suggests. But I want you to make me one promise. I want you to promise you'll never forget my father's dream of a land of benevolence and virtue. You must strive to build a land where all can live in peace. 
I will. here. Come again. Those ooh traders. How dare they? Hey, get on in here. again. You need a horse? Be here if you need me. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your bit. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. Prime Minister.
Lord Liu Chun, Wei has made its move. Scouts indicate that their forces are attacking Shu on five separate fronts. I see. Ordinarily, I would like to leave this in Zhuge Liang's hands, but unfortunately he is somewhat unwell. So, we will have to respond as best we can. The enemy has prepared a complex and meticulous plan. Without Master Zhuge Liang, I fear... There is no need for concern. Zhuge Liang has prepared a plan of his own and given me the details. If we follow it, I'm sure we will be fine. I should have known Master Zhuge Liang would anticipate every eventuality. Understood, my lord. I will inform everyone else. Thank you. This will be my first battle, so I will need to leave such complex matters to those of you with more experience. Wei is attacking everyone. I want all of you to do your best to turn them away. The enemy has set up camp in Jiting. You can leave everything to me, Lord Lushan. Lord Liu Chen, are you not forgetting the letter you received from Master Jugo Lian? Oh, yes, of course. Wait a minute. Everyone, Jugo Liang has given me a plan. I will head for Beidi Castle. So I'm supposed to head for Hung Zheng. Don't worry. I'll keep Shu safe. Shu can't afford it. I will follow my orders and defend Yunping Gate. We will not allow our lands of Shu to fall to the forces of Wei. Kursu. We are to head to Zaiping Gate? Understood. I go to Xianning for Liu Bei. I defend Xu. Even <sighs> it looks like all the soldiers have received their orders now. I believe this mission is a success. I'm exhausted. Lord Liu Chan, your bravery serves as a beacon of hope to all of our forces. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. <laughs> Now, take defensive positions! Shu without Master Liu Bei is worthless. I will strike the finishing blow! I know what Master Meng Da said. We cannot underestimate the Shu forces. I shall join the reinforcements as a precaution. It's 
to fight you want, then you come to the right place. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. The Shu forces remain united, despite the loss of Lupe. Were we wrong to think we had the advantage? I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Your skills are very impressive. Well done. Very nicely done. You are quite the warrior. Now, take defensive positions. How are they so strong? I guess betrayal wasn't the right move. We defended Hanjong. The plan will surely work now. We won? Oh, good. That's a relief. Oh, that's some excellent fighting. have improved greatly. I am speechless. Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. We shall strengthen the defenses here. We're taking Yumping Gate! Everyone with me! Impressive work, Sao Jen! Allow me to assist you! You are unstoppable! How could I have been so careless? I truly am worthless. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Amazing! You sure know how to fight! Capturing the enemy's bases is the key to defeating them. I don't 
possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. You are simply amazing in battle! Failed to take young I'm so sorry. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. We won? Oh, good. That's a relief. My lord, your skills have improved greatly. I am speechless. Now under my protection. that I find that man. I do not know what I will do to those that try to stand in my way. I shall help Lady Wong Yi play the melody of vengeance that has long eluded her. Yep. Let's go! Now is the time to attack! We cannot afford to lose this position! I shall personally see to its defense! We will give them a performance they won't forget. Head toward the enemy at once. Destroy the enemy. I won't let anyone thwart our advance. For the sake of the land, I shall withdraw. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. I don't think I've ever seen anybody like you. I don't care how strong they are. They'll still fall against my skill. Your courage is unmatched. I stand in awe. I must fall back. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. You are simply amazing in battle! I shall soon put you out of your misery. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Can you give me a minute? I don't 
possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. I don't think I've ever seen anybody like you. I was almost there. Watch out. Know that this only increases my hatred of you. Capturing that base will weaken the enemy greatly. All units, march! We defended Zaiping Gate thanks to you. Lord Liu Chun will surely be happy too. We won? Oh good. That's a relief. Unmatched. I stand in awe. is now under my protection. Capture one of those unsightly positions. Follow me. This area is 
now under my protection. Under my protection. to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Oh my, a surprise visitor. I'm actually a little busy right now leading my Rattan armor troops. One must always be ready to provide hospitality, even to unexpected guests. Still, I do wonder what my lord husband is doing. <laughs> Oh? Are you not afraid of me? My lord husband's plan has been anticipated. 
I believe I shall have to have a stern word or two with him after we return home. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. It is time for me to retreat. I may not be able to lead the Rattan armored troops, but I will not simply surrender. We must have run away. What should we do now? We owe them nothing further. Even their king will forgive us. Let's go. We won? Oh, good. That's a relief. Actually, I'm grateful to Sure. Understood. Care to join me in going to? I wonder how long. What can 
I get for you? Please, come again. Hey, get on in here. Come again. Welcome, welcome. Please, come again. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. You need a horse? I'll be here if you need me. I've got some great stuff here. I appreciate your business. We've made the necessary preparations to welcome the reinforcements here. If Shu tries to interfere, we must drive them off. And you think I'm just gonna retreat after you've told me that? I'm gonna make sure your reinforcements never arrive. If they're coming through here, that means the reinforcements must be from U. This is a problem. I need to secure the gates to U at once. The gate leading to U. That means the gate to the east, right? I've got to go and shut it. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. the heavens to face me in battle. I knew you were strong, but not this strong. You won't get to Master Joshu on my watch. You're too good. Master Joshu, the rest is up to you. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Your deeds in battle are most impressive indeed. All right. I need everyone to defend this area. Such great strength. I'm pulling back for now. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Yeah! 
must fall back. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. I knew you were strong, but not this strong. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Your deeds in battle are most impressive indeed. I never imagined the Shu army would be so formidable. I suppose we have no choice but to give up on the reinforcements from Wu. Yep. The Wei forces have retreated from Baby Castle. That will block any aid from Wu. We won? Oh, good. It's a relief. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. It seems that even without Liu Bei to lead them, Xu is stronger than I thought. We cannot let them anywhere near our lord. Everyone, stop that enemy officer! Hmm. Did you really think you could face me with no strategy in place? Our siege weapons will make you see the folly of your ways. My lord, your 
your skills have improved greatly. I am speechless. Halt! The enemy is on its way here. Take defensive positions. Please forgive me, my lord. I shall pray for your safety. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. <laughs> The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! How could my tactics fail like that? My lord, your skills have improved greatly! I am speechless! I shall return after reviewing my strategy. Your skills are very impressive. Well done. Very nicely done. You are quite the warrior. Challenge me. Clearly, you don't know who you're up against. You believe you can beat me? Yep. Your stupidity amuses me. The enemy is on its way here! Take defensive positions! <laughs> 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 possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Lord, your skills have improved greatly. I am speechless.
How could I let myself fall victim to one of Jubileum's cheap parlor tricks? I shall never forget this humiliation. For now, don't think you've won. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Very nicely done. You are quite the warrior. Yep. father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Your skills are very impressive. Well done. This was my best chance to eliminate Shu for good. Where did I go wrong? We have somehow managed to repel the Wei invasion. This is all thanks to Zhuge Liang's plan and the courage shown by everyone. I hope you will continue to work together and give your all to keep Shu safe. Lord Liu Chan, we have received reports that the entire Wei army has retreated. Very good. This is all thanks to the unity everyone displayed on the battlefield. This was a battle that we simply had to win. It was vital that we showed everyone both within the kingdom and without that Shu is still a force to be reckoned with, even after the passing of Master Liu Bei. And, just as I had hoped, we came together in our hour of greatest need and repelled attacks on our kingdom on five fronts. We have proven the might of Shu. Neither Wei nor Wu will dare to attack us for the foreseeable future. Yes, I am a fortunate man indeed, to be supported by such capable vessels. I hope you will all continue to strive to create a land of virtue and benevolence. Thanks to you, we have managed to repel Wei's invasion of our territory. What do you propose we do next? We have shown that we have the strength to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe against Wei, even without Master Liu Bei, Master Guan Yu, or Master Zhang Fei. Now, we must work to repair our damaged relations with Wu. I see. I fear. That will not be a simple task. We fought against Wu very recently. Do you really think they will listen to what we have to say? They must, or our grand design for the land will never come true. I will head to Wu myself. If I can meet with their people face to face, I am sure that I can get them to see reason. Very well. I will leave this matter in your capable hands. Come to think of it, I feel like I... I'm leaving everything to you. That is my duty. The duty that was entrusted to me by your father. 
To realize a land of virtue and benevolence, I will do anything and everything necessary. I'd like to thank you for coming, Master Zhuge Liang. The situation is, I have been asked to discuss something with you. And you are. Your strategy at Yiling was great. No, thank you, but there's still a great deal for me to learn. That may be, but isn't this a little overdone? You have gathered. All these troops just for me? Right now, in our eyes, you are a far greater enemy than Cao Wei. This talk is merely an extension of that. Given that, we are merely taking a few precautions. Certainly. In the battle with Sun Wu, we lost a great number of people. Starting with Lord Liu Bei. We will never forget the grief and the regret. However, even with that, there are things that must be said. You're talking about an alliance between our clans. Yes. It will change nothing between Sun Wu and Shu Hong. My land is split in three parts. The late Zhou Yu's land in two parts. Both of those were specifically designed to stop Zhao Wei. Now is the time to return to that strategy once again. Together, our houses must join to defeat Zhao Wei. And then, after that, then we will settle things. Not in some discussion. It will be settled on the battlefield. Understood. I shall tell my lord. I shall explain the benefits of a temporary alliance with Shu. We must fight together to put an end to this lawless chaos. A peace accord has been forged with Wu. We can now concentrate solely on the threat posed by Wei. Then are we to embark upon the northern campaign that you proposed earlier? Not yet. Before we can do that, we need to make sure we have no cause for concern elsewhere. You must be referring to the south, my lord. When the forces of Wei made their advance on five fronts, the people of Nanjiang attacked Shu. The Wei forces have retreated, but Nanjiang has not withdrawn its men. We cannot give our all to an attack against Wei if we are worried about other fronts. Our first priority must be to bring Nanjiang under our control. Very well. We shall do as you say, but if we bring it under our control with military force, then we will be no different from Wei. I know it will be difficult, but I want you to remember the spirit of benevolence which we have inherited from our forebearers. I will. The territory of Nanjong is inhabited by a range of disparate tribes 
who have all learned to coexist. The goal of this battle will be to defeat Meng Huo, the great king of Nanjong, who has brought the tribes together. But military superiority alone will not be enough to bring them to their knees. Huh? So what do you want us to do? It would be for the best if the people of Nanjong were not our enemies, but our allies. We do not want to beat them into submission. Instead, we must appeal to their minds. We must show them that we have their best interests at heart. But how are we to do that? We must begin by showing them that we cannot be beaten and by sapping their strength. Once they see we are benevolent people, they will be more amenable to surrender. You must not charge all the way in at once, but proceed slowly and logically toward the main enemy camp. An alliance with Nanjong is essential, if we are to stand against Wei. We need the cooperation of King Wong Ho. He may not appreciate the strength of Shu at first, but he will soon see that the only way is to join our cause. The rattan-clad soldiers of Nanjong will provide a mighty foe. It would help to have some more information about them. To that end, I have dispatched Li Hui on a fact-finding mission. However, he has not returned. Would you go and search for him? that Rattan armor. It's very tough. It burns easily. Use fire attacks and you'll see the results. Alright! Stop it already! I can't bear this any longer! I believe this mission is a success. I'm... exhausted.
enemy is going to attack us here. Everyone prepare to defend this spot. <laughs> We're siding with Master Wong Guo. We're not coming back to Shu. Fight us! <laughs> We're sorry. We won't betray the shoe again. Just spare our lives. We won? Good. That's a relief. Watch out for the poison in Nanjong. Those pools of it will sap your life. Very well. A hermit in Nanjong can nullify the poison. Maybe you could find him. The troops up ahead wear rattan armor. Meaning that fire is their weakness. Fire arrows should allow us to overcome them. We will need supplies to make the fire arrows. We must hurry and assemble them at once. Yep. I have some oil here, actually. Do you need it? I have plenty of arrows. Do you need some? We have been able to make enough fire arrows to deal with the enemy's rattan armor troops. I believe this mission is a success. Yes. I'm exhausted. What a striking figure. Well done. Our target has been determined. Capturing that area will deflate their morale. The best way to break the spirit of the men of Nanjong will be with the juggernauts I have developed. I need the juggernaut unit to proceed as far as Jianli. They will need an escort to make sure they're not attacked on the way. Never seen it such a tiger before. Let's capture it and put it on show. What's with that tiger? You can't keep it on the loose.
We won? Oh, good. That's a relief. What a striking figure. Well done. Being so strong is nice. There are many out there who aren't. Defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. Blades and arrows can't penetrate Rattan armor. And water isn't effective either. You're finished! <laughs> strength, but I share his love of virtue. I knew you were strong, but not this strong. We shall defend this position. Do not allow a single enemy through. We must our Rattan armored warriors. Damn these shields. They are too tough. We won? Oh good, that's a relief. What a striking figure, well done. Lots of damaging poison pools close to Jani. Be careful. A hermit lives in one in Gorge who knows about dealing with the poison pools.
What's that? You want to know how to overcome the poison swamp? I can give you one person's worth of medicine to weaken its effect. If you want more, you'll have to ask King Dorsey. His medicine should neutralize the poison entirely. I believe this mission is a success. I'm exhausted. You are simply amazing in battle! Advance. I would. All those poison pools. Maybe their commander knows how they're able to cross the poison swamps like that. Anjong is my family's homeland. It's no place for strangers to be sniffing about.
poison? Impressive. But you're still just going to die. <laughs> I give up! I give up! I'll give you what you want! I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. We won? Oh, good. That's a relief. We beat some medicine out of King Duo C. Now we can nullify that poison. Oh. With this, we can cross the poison safely. Give these out to everyone. possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. You are unstoppable! doing to King Malou's pets? He loves those things, you know. Keep your hands off of them. Beyond alone? I like your spirit, even if it does get you killed. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense. Yeah. 
but I share his love of virtue. are running away. Now we don't have to fight by him. The beasts have run away? This is a problem. We need to find them at once. I believe this mission is a success. I'm exhausted. You are unstoppable. We cannot afford to lose this position. I shall personally see to its defense! is underfoot. What is that thing? I've never seen anything like it. These elephants are part of my family too. Don't you dare hurt me. <laughs> <laughs> you wish to challenge me? Then you shall be crushed like the insect you are! Trying to steal your name while I'm gone, are you? 
That's a relief. You are unstoppable! Your deeds in battle are most impressive indeed. You want him back. You need to go home now. Sorry, we've been taken captive. Please, help me. Show them what you can do, dear. I'll hold back the rest of them. <laughs> I really didn't want to have to do this, but I have to protect my family. You leave me no choice. Oh, this woman isn't playing around! Someone, help! I just wanted to show my wife what I'm truly capable of. But I couldn't even do that much. Hey, watch it! I really didn't want to have to do this. But I have to protect my family. You leave me no choice. This woman isn't playing around! Someone, help! Like I'm done. I knew trickery and dishonesty wouldn't pay off in the long run. You, you got lucky this time. Yeah, that's what it was. Luck. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. We won. Oh, good. That's a relief. Your deeds in battle are most impressive to me. Yep. strength but I share his love of virtue. You are unstoppable!
You won't have your way with our land. I will keep Janik safe from your crying head. You wish to challenge me? Then you shall be crushed like the insect you are! <laughs> King has finally come around to our way of thinking. This should allow us to form an alliance with Nancho. I don't possess my father's strength, but I share his love of virtue. Impossible! How could I be bested in a test of strength? A rematch! I demand a rematch! This battle has already been settled. King of Nanjong. I think that you know no matter how often we fight, you will never beat us. We have no wish to continue this conflict. It is of no benefit to us. Why not join hands with us? We will work together to make your land rich and prosperous. What? One minute you're attacking us? And the next you want to be our friends? Stop messing with my head! We attacked Nanjong because you posed a threat to Shu after falling for Wei's poisonous whispers. We had no desire to invade your lands. We are not your enemies. Indeed, we would like to be your allies. Can you understand where we are coming from? Well... You beat us fair and square. I'll do what you want. But don't get me wrong, I still don't trust you. If you claim you're our allies, then I'd better not see you try and attack us again. I thank you for your understanding. It appears that we have successfully subdued the lands of Nanjong, Zhuge Liang. What do you propose we do next? We have removed all concerns on other fronts. It is time for us to attack Wei. Then it will finally begin. We managed to prevent Wei's plan to attack on five fronts. But now the boo-boo is on the other foot. If we attack, Wei will fight back grimly. We must give any attack all that we have. Then once again, this will be a battle of great hardship. All of us, officers and soldiers alike, are ready to fight. Master Liu Chen Chen, give the order whenever you like. Yes. But before that, Zhuge Liang and Zhao Yun, I would like to ask you a question. Tell me, can we really claim victory over Wei? Lord Liu Chan. The Wei forces are replete with brave soldiers. But, the same could be said of that... our ranks. But I swear that my spear will bring glorious victory to Shu! We must, must win, for the sake of Master Liu Bei and the others who have fallen for our cause. In Shu, after the death of Liu Bei, his son Liu Chan becomes emperor. Zhuge Liang and the other ministers support him 
and make plans to restore the country to its former strength. After repelling the Wei invasion, they also succeed in conquering the troublesome Nanjong tribes. Elsewhere, Wu successfully repels the Shu attack on Yiling. When Zhuge Liang once more proposes an alliance, they accept. All of this was simply to oppose Wei, who continued to seek to conquer the entire land. While all this had been happening, Wei had focused their efforts on domestic affairs and increased their own strength in order to be ready for the upcoming showdown with Wu and Shu. This concludes my summary of the overall status of our territory at the present time. Next, I will report on the movements of Wei. To be honest, Zhu Liang, I feel tired just listening to you. Will you allow me to rest a while first? Forgive me, my lord. I should have been more attentive. Zhu Liang, you should rest a little as well. You are monitoring all domestic activity yourself, on top of which you seem to be making preparation for your northern campaign. If you continue to push yourself so hard, you will fall ill. I appreciate your concern, my lord. In order to ensure the success of the northern campaign, however, it is imperative that I eliminate all potential sources of trouble. For that reason, I cannot afford to neglect my duties of domestic government. Your diligence is truly appreciated. But if you do fall ill, the Northern Campaign cannot happen. It is well beyond my capabilities. If only there were someone who could act as a worthy lieutenant to you. Masu is currently acting as my deputy. He is a smart man who understands the way I think. We can expect big things from him during the Northern Campaign. I see. If you are satisfied, then I'm sure everything will be fine. We are beginning our preparations for the Northern Campaign. I may spend some time away from the court, but all measures have been put in place. There is no need for any concern. I will soon have good news to report. Sugar Liang, is it really necessary for you to work so hard yourself? I would prefer you left the preparations to others and rested for a while. No, my lord. I cannot do that. Battles are often won and lost before the army set foot on the battlefield. I must work closely with everyone else. I see. Hmm. With everyone else. Then you must allow me to help out as well. I will get bored just waiting here after all. My lord, that is far too dangerous. You must come to Shinsai. Staying here and keeping an eye on me is hardly very stimulating, I'm sure. Will that be acceptable, Zhuge Liang? I am moved by your thoughtfulness, my lord. I would be most honored if you would help us, too. Thoughtfulness? I'm not sure what you mean by that, but... Anyway, Zhuge Liang, I am yours to use as you see fit.